Welcome back to the homestead. Thanks for coming to see us. Well, last time you saw us, we were cutting trees. We still had one big one left, and it's time to uh, take care of that now. All right, well, there's a bit of a wind, a occasional breeze, wind blowing today. So I'm going to rope that tree off uh, to the garden tractor, try and make sure it goes that direction. Okay, so I tied a rope from the tree to the little lawn tractor, pulled the tractor out, get the rope as tight as it, I could get it with the tractor. The tractor wouldn't move anymore, just spin the tires. And the plan is to pie cut the front of the tree to try to get it to fall exactly where I want so it doesn't go to either side and take out one of these cottages. But before I do that, I need to adjust the chain on my chainsaw, top it up with fuel and oil. And then we'll get back to cutting this tree down. Not everything goes as planned. You saw me, I tied the tree up to the little tractor, stretched the rope out tight, then did a blunder, cut too deep, not a big enough wedge, and the tree hit the building. It, and the other camera, actually. <laughs> so that will be the camera that you'll probably get to see, the fall, at least part of it when it knocks the camera down. But the damage is minimal, just a couple of holes in the tarp, I can patch that. There's no structural damage. One little paint chip, so thank goodness I did have that rope on there. And this is a lesson to be learned for anybody that doesn't know what they're doing when they're cutting trees down. And uh, stop, back up. If it's not, if you're not uh, proceeding the way you think it should, then just stop, evaluate. Then go back, fix your errors, go back and do it right. 
I didn't do that. I got fixated on the pie cut, the wedge cut, wound up cutting three quarters or more through the tree, and it should have been half. And when it let go, it didn't fall the way it was supposed to. It rotated. But good thing it was tied to that tractor. It slowed it down. Didn't hit the roof that hard. So, so this is what I mean when I'm talking about the pie cut. You see I cut this far through and only left this much tree. That much tree. And it's 25, 30 feet in the air. I was so lucky that uh, wind didn't come or anything like that. It could have spun out and gone directly sideways or the other direction. Heck, it could have hit me. Because I was focused on this. I wasn't watching the tree. Don't be me. Be you. Be better. So, on with the cleanup. Okay, there's a big soppy dip right here. So that's an area that we're gonna have to bring in dirt because it's just puddled and standing right there. We need that water. We need to fill that dirt so that water keeps on moving. It really broke to pieces on impact. There's branches all over the place that have just broken off. It was a very, very dead tree. Lee's over there getting a thorn out of his shoe. Went about a quarter to a half inch through the shoe into his foot. I think about a quarter inch, probably closer to. But it's all the way through. It broke off at the sole, so he's having to get find some pliers to pull it out. They're little barbs, so you can't go out the opposite way anyhow, so he's going to pull it out. Anyway, these things hurt, and if you step directly on them, they go right through your shoes. doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, you know it.
Okay, I'm gonna start a new mulch pile with this uh, grass and straw. We'll add to it throughout the summer as we clear a lot of that heavy brush area. We're gonna be raking it up and getting that brush out of there. That's what we did in the front and it turned out to be a beautiful lawn once we got the stuff out. So we'll be doing that throughout the summer in various locations. Anyway, wow, it's been a tiring day. I'm gonna go ahead and start that new pile away from the mulch we've already got. We're gonna use that um, for uh, more garden beds and uh, fill holes. So let's start that pile, I think, over there. Wait a minute, over there. So this tree just broke off in the wind. I'm gonna go throw it in the wood pile. Well, what you haven't seen all day is this burn pile. All of those trees that we cut down are right there. That's all that's left. It's a good deal. Well, it's been a busy, busy day here on the homestead. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, that notification bell. Bye now.